All right, welcome back, Quadrature fans. It's been a while. I had some surgery. All right. Today we'll do the Nakia Jackson proof of uh, Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. I watched a video on 60 Minutes, and essentially, well, this is the proof. It's, it's known as the circle proof because what you have is a circle, and inside is a right triangle that is inscribed, and so we have... Well, we have angles alpha, beta, and 90 degrees. And we have similar triangles. This is 90 degrees. This is alpha. This has to be beta. So these triangles, this small triangle, is similar to the big triangle because they have alpha, beta, and 90 degrees. Alpha, beta, 90 degrees. That makes it a similar triangle. And so we are reminded that sine of alpha, that's opposite over hypotenuse, that's A over C. The distance from here to here is C because that's the diameter. The radius is C over 2. Okay, that's C. That's A. That's sine alpha. But that's also cosine beta, which is, here's beta and it's, a over C, adjacent over hypotenuse. And likewise, cosine alpha is B over C. That's cosine alpha, which is the same as sine beta. That's the way trig works. All right. And so our job is really to find out what the lengths OQ and AQ are in terms of a, B, and C. And then once we know that, well, I think that's, we're practically there. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what happens. So we've got sine of beta. Here's beta. Sine would be C over 2 over AQ. That's this distance here. But that's also B over C. That's here. And if we rearrange, AQ is C squared over 2B. Simply rearrange, and you get AQ, this distance here, C squared over 2B. And similarly, we get. OQ, OQ, this distance from here to here, well, that's uh, cosine beta, cosine beta is OQ over AQ, which we already know. So it's OQ over C squared over 2B, but that's also equal to A over C. Cosine beta is A over C. So if you rearrange, you get OQ equals AC over 2B. All right, so we've got AC over 2B, and we got C squared over 2B. That's our... Those are our values. So our job is to verify the Pythagorean theorem out of these. Look at the proportions of these lengths. The quadrants, which means length segment squared, must be, or we're looking for proportions such that you get c squared is a squared plus b squared. So let's look at that. So verify that AQ squared, that's distance here, that's the hypotenuse, is equal to OQ squared, that's this one, squared, plus OA squared, that's this one here. Well, you plug that in, AQ is C squared over 2B, square it, and... That must equal, that's why I got triple equal, AC over 2B squared, that's this 
quadrants plus c over 2 the whole thing squared well now you just crank it through a little more c, c to the fourth over 4b squared does that equal a squared c squared over 4b squared plus c squared over 4 multiply by b squared b squared to normalize the denominator then you cancel out simplify and sure enough you get c squared equals a squared plus b squared that's pretty pretty nice it's a pretty simple proof i like it it doesn't involve any uh, infinite process i really like that so Thumbs up, Nakia Jackson proof of Pythagorean theorem. Good job.